What's going on guys? Crypto Mike here with the mic check. One, two, one, two. Driving to the store. Thought I might uh, put a little video out. Kind of just putting my thoughts out there on uh, a, a current update on the crypto market. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are being safe. Uh, hope you guys are excited, because I am. I'm excited. And I've been excited for a while. But, I mean, the longer this kind of just, you know, uh, uh, the market kind of stays a little stagnant, the, the more excited I get. Because I honestly, uh, I'm thinking if it, if it keeps kind of staying stagnant, if Bitcoin doesn't make a new all-time high anytime soon, I mean, that's almost to me, that's like a confirmation of the, uh, of the bull market uh, continuation, like uh, an extended bull market at least. So I, I would say probably we're going to go till at least February. <clears throat> um, and, and that's at least the alts. So there could be, you know, big blow up top uh, on Bitcoin, like end of year, which I'm expecting. I, I'm pretty much 99% certain guys that we're going to go back up. Like, Bitcoin's going up. I mean, I have no doubt it's going to go to like 100,000, you know, at least. If not 150k by the end of this this current cycle. Um, and with that, the alts are going to go up an even like crazier percentage. Now, there's a few different uh, the uh, genres of alts right now that people are getting really excited about. And uh so I'll address a few of them, and I'll tell you which ones like I'm interested in, what projects I'm interested in. Um, basically, the three the three big ones right now: NFT. Okay, NFT season is pretty much over. Um, it, I mean, it, it's it's kind of died down. It's still there. It's always going to be there, uh, but it's it's died down a lot now. The new thing is Meta Metaverse. Uh, plays metaverse projects play to earn that's huge right now so you got like axie infinity um i would say don't bother with axie infinity if you're looking for gainers if you're looking for gainers don't bother with axie infinity now i have to say it not financial advice but um there are different plays that are a lot lower cap and they they might even have more potential so um one of them is uh not sandbox i wouldn't i wouldn't mess with that quite yet or i mean because it's it's already blown up you know enough i would say the one that i really like is cube cube it's the token for somnium space vr and that's pretty cool because it's it's really like literally kind of like um ready player one and there there are quite a few projects that are kind of like that right now but cube got listed on gemini um, back in uh, April I think April I think it was April and I bought some like right away because anything that gets listed on Gemini and is not on Coinbase like I've seen it over and over again and I can pretty much guarantee almost not not quite but I can almost guarantee that it'll get listed on Coinbase since anything that goes on to Gemini is already um, Basically, it's been it's been scrutinized and like totally, really uh, checked out and vetted, so that it's within uh, you know regulatory compliance. Because um, Gemini is the most regulatory compliant exchange out there, um, and then Coinbase is a close second, and then you got Kraken, and uh, that one's good too. So. Uh, so I would say, yeah, Cube is going to be listed. Cube is still low market cap, but it's been going crazy lately. It's still low market cap, though. But, if you know, the trend is your friend, I'm telling you. Uh, it's in a nice little dip right now. I'm considering buying more um, because I need I need a decent metaverse play in my portfolio. I, I don't, like, Cube isn't a big portion uh, of my portfolio. But seriously, go check out the YouTube channel, Somnium Space VR. If you want to write this momentum play up um, and that's only what I think you know I can't tell you the future I don't know we could have a big market crash I don't know 
I don't, I don't, I don't think it's likely in this Q4 of the, the last, last Q4 of the bull run, pretty much, you know? I don't think that's likely, but, all right, so there's another one called Illuvium. Go check it out. Check out the website. I think it's Illuvium.io. I could be wrong, um, but just look it up on CoinGecko. The ticker is ILV, and it's going to be a play-to-earn game, and it's built on the Unreal Graphics Engine, and it, it looks amazing. Uh, so I'm not invested, but I, I'm, I'm considering getting in if I see a good dip. Um, pretty much all the metaverse plays have been kind of going up. Even Don't Buy Meme kind of went up a little, which it's not really a metaverse play. It's like um, a DeFi NFT play. But one of the drops on Don't Buy Meme was uh, Wild, Wilder World. Uh, Frank Wilder, he put some NFT drops on on the meme platform, and and then he went on to create his own universe, his own metaverse, and um, with his own token, Wild. And I was surprised, but yeah, I blew, I, I bought some because I felt like you know I'm an insider. I I know the guy, and he's he's doing stuff, but that token has just gone nuts. And then they got a um, they they partnered with Digital Currency Group, and. Five days later, there was a hack, and the token dropped like crazy. Like, to me, it was a rug buy. I was asking Frank Wilder, what's going on, man? What the hell's going on, dude? Did you just rug? And he was like, no, 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 it was a hack. It was an exploit. Uh, and so, basically, what happened was, uh, it was kind of funny. Since, now, BitBoy tells us that Digital Currency Group is part of the financial cartel that is basically controlling and centralizing just everything. And it's true. I've been telling you that way before BitBoy. Guys, I've been talking about Digital Currency Group left and right, over and over, since my interview with Kent Lewis, who came onto my channel two years ago and basically told us what was gonna happen with the supply chain and they're gonna put it on blockchain after the crisis. They already have the solution, it's already there. They just need to create the problem and they need the reaction from us, right? They need the reaction. They need to see everyone in dismay. Um, and that's what's kind of starting to happen. I don't believe it's over yet. I think 2022, people are gonna give a much um, more animated reaction than we've even seen before, than we've even seen in the last two years. I believe the next crisis the next fear-mongering crisis, what they're going to try to do is push climate change on us and say it's going to be the end of the world if we don't, if we don't take action and, you know, all that. So it's, that's the next agenda. Um, that's the next part of the agenda, and it's, it's coming. The narrative is already here, but they're going to push it and push it um, after COVID kind of dies down. Uh, hopefully COVID doesn't come back. We'll see. So... That's just part, more part of the uh, control paradigm of what they're trying to do. So, um, so Digital Currency Group, basically when Wild dropped, like six or seven days after they partnered with um, Digital Currency Group, it made me think, hmm, this does happen quite often in different um, DeFi protocols and stuff. I wonder if these exploits happen on purpose to give these humongous centralized agencies or whatever digital currency group which is a three-letter agency right there dg D, dcg um gave them a good opportunity to buy a lot to just buy because it went right up after that um it went up again and it just it keeps going up and up um i bought it really cheap it was nice i made profit um and i sold a little more than i should have because i didn't know they were going to be partnered with digital currency group which which to me guys means that i think and you guys will be hearing about wilder world you will be hearing about cube those are coming um those are going to be the next plays coming coming up um and i believe both of those are going to be listed on coinbase um so that's metaverse uh there's a, there's one that i'm in it's called bit doge eight bit doge it's a just very risky play um, so, you know, and then there's now there's, and that it's kind of cool cause it's play to earn. It's you buy the NFTs and you can play with them, but be careful with these kind of things. Now the, uh, I believe the, uh, 
the creator of it is doxxed. That's what I heard. I haven't checked it out. So anyways, uh, the ticker on that is BitD. Um, now, meme coins. I've actually bought a few meme coins. And I'm, I'm, a few of them, I'm like, nah. Like, I shouldn't have bought it. Like, KateCoin. KateCoin has been trending on, on uh, CoinGecko. So when I see things trend on CoinGecko over and over and over, the price action doesn't matter at the time. Um, it, but it is trending for a reason. But uh, I would say if you see it trending and trending and trending on CoinGecko like Axie Infinity did and Slow uh, Smooth Love Potion did for like months. I mean, we saw Smooth Love Potion on there and AXS on CoinGecko's trending section like over and over for months straight. I mean, it was annoying. You know, and then we see we see we see Shib trending. So the more something trends, no matter what the price action is, I believe that means there's a lot of active active interest on it. Um, depending on it, you got to go check it out. It might be trending because it rubbed or something. I don't know, but you got to make sure you kind of figure out why it's trending. Usually, it's because there's a lot of community, um, a lot of activity, and uh, so Katecoin, C A T E. I saw that and I thought that was kind of funny because it's a play on Doge, which is dog, but with an E at the end. Same as Kate coin. It's cat with an E at the end. Kate cat coin. So people are going to call it cat coin. I bet it will be a, there. There's a possibility that cat coins could start taking over the dog coins. I don't know, but there's going to be a next shib just like there was, you know, a next Doge, which was shib shib like I predicted was dumping and, and honestly I, I think a lot of it the, the SHIB community knows about the AMP community they know them the Doge community knows the AMP community because when SHIB went down AMP went up like exact opposites guys so a lot of the SHIB money came into AMP and the whales the whales uh, are still manipulating AMP down they're trying to keep that price low maybe so that their partners or their friends can continue to accumulate before the big price action really comes um so cake coin is a risky one you know what i typically do if i like something or i think it might have a chance i put a few hundred bucks in it you know um saitama i think that's going to be big guys there's a big community I, you know like i said i think you, you might have heard me say but i was ubering uh, and then one of my riders was talking to a, a, one of his Wall Street friends and You know, they were talking about Tesla and other stuff But they were also talking about SHIB and what the next SHIB would be and uh, The next SHIB what he said was this one called Saitama and so I'm also hearing rumors that possibly um, Anime anime meme, meme coins are up up and coming like those are the new like dog coins so the cool thing about Saitama it's like anime and it has a dog it's it's dog it's just pretty cool and so I bought a little bit of that like I said this is not these are not main positions I don't even enter these into my block folio um because I'm just waiting hopefully you know I'm just kind of set and forget you know uh and just maybe hoping that one of them is the next ship. So, it, which which did it had an 80 million percent gain in one year. I mean, you buy a couple hundred dollars of that, you can be a millionaire with those kind of gains. It's worth it, in my opinion. Um, all right. So I also have Kuma Kuma Inu, which is rumored to be have been created by the people who created Shib. And so if that's true, that would be amazing. I, I did see the wallet address and it did have Kuma in it along with SHIB. Uh, uh, someone posted that on Twitter. Uh, by the way, go follow me on Twitter at XXMikeCheckXX. Um, and subscribe to my channel, guys. I mean, I, I haven't been as active, but I'm gonna be a lot more active lately, uh, or upcoming, because uh, uh, I made lifestyle changes. I'm going to the gym again. I'm, I'm on a diet. I quit drinking, quit smoking weed, and uh, and I don't smoke cigarettes. But and so I've kind of flipped everything around the last few weeks, and uh, I feel great. 
So I think I'll be streaming more and I'll be doing more videos um, once I get a little more situated. I'm also doing Uber a lot and I like it. I'm doing a nighttime Uber. So anyways, um, so uh, there's a uh, Kuma, Saktama, Cape Coin. I just bought a little bit of those. I'm hoping that they, and then they've moved. Kuma already went up, it doubled already. Uh, Bit Doge, that already doubled for me. Bit D, um, Saitama, it didn't double, but it already it went up like 20%. It hasn't come down since I bought it, so that's good. Uh, all right, so those are the meme coins. Okay, I told you the meta coins, the metaverse plays I'm I'm looking at, uh, which are Cube and Alluvium, and uh, and kind of like Bit Bit Doge B I T D. Um, that's a play to earn kind of game. Be careful with it. Be careful with these, all of them. Uh, and then, except for Cube, I mean, that's just guaranteed. You know, it's guaranteed. Um, all right, so, and then meme coins, Kate, I'm in Kate, I'm in Saitama, I'm in Kuma. Uh, I have a little shib. Uh, I think I have a little doge somewhere. Um, and then, those are the meme coins I'm in. Um, I can't think of any others that I'm in. I, if I do, I'll let you know. So, and uh, I'm in them because I'm, I, I have faith and I'm not trying to pump anything that, you know, I, I have the power to, I can, I can do it. I've seen it happen. I didn't mean to, it's happened. Um, but I, I'm not trying to pump anything, you know? So I typically tell you guys to get in like low, you know, not, so, not, so you're not getting fucked. Um, all right, so that was meme coins. Um, now we have, uh, oh, also my main metaverse coin, guys, is Chainlink because it's connected to everything DeFi, everything pretty much, not not NFTs, but everything DeFi pretty much, like 75% of DeFi is connected or partnered with Chainlink. They're utilizing it or partnered with Chainlink. Um, so that's huge. And, and Chainlink's due for a big move. Another one that's due for a big move, XRP. If you look at that chart, it's in a, a rat, like, I mean, a, an extremely big, like, wide uh, bull flag. Like, <laughs> and um, it looks just like it did in 20, uh, 2017 before it took off. So, and we saw just green candle after green candle. It was like three weeks of just insane green candles and then it became the biggest riser of last bull cycle so um i think xrp is a great buy right now i don't see why not the momentum's going upward we see the court case kind of i haven't been paying attention too much but little things i hear it's kind of getting unraveled and it's really not like there's nothing to it much you know so i don't see ripple going down if ripple went down in this court case you know the sec would they would have the green light to just come after all crypto and we don't want that um so they need to know that we, we don't like it we don't like it not one bit so come on gary you know go go shine your head and you know go back to the simpsons and, and smithers you know go back to your lover um so xrp chain link chain link is a great metaverse play great DeFi play I mean telling you guys I've been telling you guys for years I was one of the first I was one of I was literally one of the only youtubers I might have been the first youtuber as is the case with a lot of these coins and tokens I told you about that became big because I have I have a nose and I have ears and I have eyes <laughs> and I can research and I, I'm, I act on intuition quite often as well um, so, but Chainlink, I was one of the first ones telling you guys when it was 70 cents before Ethereum mainnet that it was gonna blow up. It was gonna blow, and it has. You know, 70 cents to uh, $31 now, you know, that's pretty good. Uh, so, I believe, and I, I just tripled my Chainlink stack. I sold some of my shit coins, and I tripled my Chainlink stack. Um, just like five days ago, four days ago, because I believe it's due. 
chain link XRP. I'm I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna buy some more XRP too. Now there's the layer ones. Okay, so we had we had metaverse coins, we had meme coins, um, and uh, layer ones. All right, layer ones are gonna, you know, they're really taking off. Uh, we had Matic. Matic was huge, and it's it's huge. I've been using it. Um, it's Polygon. So the, I'm in one on Polygon, I, I believe. There might be a few, but the one on Polygon I'm at on is uh, it's called Unity. Market cap's really low. The APY is insane. So I'm just letting it sit. I'm gonna let it sit for like a year, and then wait for it to pump when I once I have a ton of Unity. It's easy money, guys. It's so easy. Um, I mean, it's literally like a hundred, it's, it's probably like a billion percent APY or something like a hundred million. I'm not sure, but they're, yeah, they're 900 million. I don't know. Something like that. Um, there's not a lot of users on unity. It's called poly unity. All right. So on, uh, oh, the other one on polygon that I really like, I really like it. It's just like. Oh, my Olympus Dow, which I, I told you guys about like four months ago um, before it became big. Um, Olympus Dow, Climate Dow is a fork of Olympus Dow, except the thing about Climate Dow is it's backed by carbon. So it is kind of acting towards this, this green future, this climate change, carbon uh, emissions, you know, this whole initiative, this whole thing we're going to go through next year, I think. Um, it's gonna be big, so I'm staking for like a year, and it's 35,000% APY at the moment. The token is two thousand dollars a piece, but it's it's on a discount because uh, it was like thirty-five hundred dollars a month ago. So, um, so Clima is the next Ohm, guys. So you had Ohm, and then you had Adventure Wonderland. You had Wonderland uh, dot finance or something like that. And then the, the ticker is time. That's really high APY as well. Uh, I just don't see what that one's solving. So I think the climate DAO is going to be better. And once you do transactions, this is on, this is on Polygon, Matic. Uh, once you do transactions on, on Polygon, you will not ever want to do an Ethereum mainnet transaction again. I mean, the gas prices are actually worrying me a little bit because I don't know if I'm going to be able to cash out my shit coins uh, if the gas prices just keep climbing. I mean, one transaction for me just to like unstake something and then move it back to my wallet cost me $250. And I don't have that kind of Ethereum. I can't be spending that kind of Ethereum. So now I've been also experimenting with Arbitrum, which is Ethereum's true layer two solution. Um, the, the gas fees are way cheaper and the transaction time is basically instant um, it's very nice so there's a few on um, well there's okay there's one on Arbitrum I suggest and uh, like I said not financial advice but I suggest you look at it's gonna be the next DYDX PERP it's called GMX It's for derivatives trading um, I think there's already 500 million dollars I think it has a 500 or maybe $250 million market cap, and it's on Arbitrum. So it's actually still very relatively relatively new, and the price chart is just going up. It doesn't come down. It's um, It reminds me of early Chainlink, or just Chainlink in general. It just goes up. You know, It doesn't have any lower lows. It just has higher lows, higher lows. Uh, and then eventually it has higher highs. You know, So GMX, I... Right, well, I, I put two thousand bucks in it a few months ago. No, just a month ago, and now it's you know it's like worth forty five hundred dollars, um, and I'm staking it. Okay, so if you can, if you can stake any of your coins or tokens, do it, do it. Now there's another one, uh, Terra, Terra Luna, guys. Um, I missed out on that one, and but there's still probably time for that. You know, to be honest. There's probably time on that one. Uh, but the whole ecosystem, I'm telling you, like, yeah, that one's a monster. And it's not even on ma major exchanges, but it is on Coinbase 
wrapped Luna, W Luna. So if you want to speculate on that um, and trade it, you know, it's on Coinbase. So that's pretty big. Anything being on Coinbase is a big deal because, you know, even though it's kind of, even though it's centralized, you know, um, it's going to be years and years and years before centralization is gone. And that's, you know, that's even if it is gone, if it ever leaves, we, we probably couldn't survive without centralization. So there's always going to be some form of centralization. Although I do believe decentralization will take over. It will be very, very popular because that's just, it's a whole new system we're going into. A whole new financial monster. And this one is for the people because we're coming into an age of abundance. Um, the light is shining. People, you know, these, these evil corporations and bankers, uh, central banks, you know, they're, the spotlight is starting to turn towards them. And where there's light, you know, there can't be darkness. It, it, you know, everything comes to light. The truth is coming out slowly but surely. It's exciting times. I'm excited about that. Um, we're going to go through a lot of crazy crap, and, but it, you know, it's really what your mindset is, you know, that dictates your future. Uh, you know, if you're scared of everything that's going to happen, that's happening, um, and you don't think any good change can come out of it and you think it's just the end of the world, honestly, you might be a boomer. I'll tell you the truth. You might just be a boomer because it happens all the time. We, we go through changes. It's the end of the world. Oh, no. Like, it's just humanity. We, we change. We, we evolve. And especially nowadays, exponentially, we're evolving with this technology, with this fourth industrial revolution. We're, we're right at the foot of it. Um, and it's here. This is the new age. Okay, guys? So, uh, yeah. I mean, if you want to make some money in crypto, I believe the next three to six months is your perfect like you will not get a better chance than the next three to six months ever again ever again you know so you know bitcoin is the best investment and you know if, if you bought bitcoin in 2010 you know it was the best investment of your life if you've held it till now not sold it best investment ever ever like that the world's ever seen guys so um and who's to say that won't happen with other blockchains, you know? So as far as layer ones go, um, oh, also too, you want to go to airdrops.io, all right? And go get as many of those airdrops as you can. Qualify for as many as you can. A lot of these doesn't take too much money to qualify. All you got to do is um, make do a transaction on one of these uh, exchanges, you know? Some of these, like Zapper.io, uh, Zapper.fi, I use it all the time. Um, you can do swaps on it, all right, through like the Polygon or Binance Smart Chain or whatever. Easy. It doesn't cost you more than like, you know, 30 cents. And then you'll qualify. You, you qualify for a pending airdrop if that comes. Arbitrum, I bridged some Ethereum over from Ethereum mainnet to Arbitrum, layer two and I made a few swaps on Arbitrum since it was so cheap. And now I'm qualified for the airdrop. There's also a Z, ZK sync, a ZK rollup uh, possible airdrop. All you gotta do is go to the the, Z, the ZK sync, um, uh, ZK rollup uh, Rostin testnet, I think it's Rostin. Um, and that's easy. It's in your MetaMask. If you have the Ethereum mainnet MetaMask, you have all the test nets under the Ethereum test nets. So all you got to do is you can put the put the RPC in uh, for the zk rollup. Um, all you have to do is look up. <laughs> Sorry, it's a lot. It's, it is kind of sounds complicated, but uh, once you do it, it's easy and it's fun. It's really fun. Um, so yeah, so just go go to airdrops.io, guys. Okay. And there's a ton of airdrops. I already got uh, like a uh, Cosmos airdrop um, for P stake. So whatever, um, however many Cosmos you have like staking, you get the same amount of P stake. So, and there's a lot of airdrops coming in the Cosmos ecosystem. A lot of airdrops coming in the Terra Luna ecosystem as well. 
Now there's another one that's a layer one, it's called Avalanche AVAX, and I believe that's gonna have a great month this month and next month probably. Um, it's really cool, uh, it's fast, it's cheap, and there's you know a lot of good projects on it. The one I'm in, so I'm basically in, in like one main project for each of these, and the one I'm in right now is SmartCoin, and um, be careful, it's it's a kind of risky risky investment, but I'm staking, uh, it doubles APY, like I think every day or something, and you get as many smart coins, and they're rolling it out in like 10 phases. So with all your smarters, they first had smart coin, now it's smarter coin, and then the next one, they're gonna give you an airdrop for phase three. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm staking, it's like 2,400% APY right now. It's an interesting concept. Uh, the marketing is really good. The uh, CEO, the creator of Avalanche, the blockchain, um, he praised it the other day and they, they retweeted that. Um, and there's a few crypto Twitter influencers with like 300K plus in, uh, subscribers or followers who've been talking about it, liking it. Um, they're saying they're coming after Olympus Dow. They're, they want to they want to come after Olympus Dow um, with that kind of market cap, and um, I don't know if they could do it because Olympus Dow was like the pioneer of this this whole um, passive income like craze that's happening right now. But they might be able to do it, or at least kind of get close. And if that happens, I'll, I'll make a lot of money. So the, the coin is called an SMRTR, but be careful, like check it out before you if you buy it or not. Um, Again, I ain't trying to pump nothing. Speaking of that, though, speaking of that, the one that I talk about once in a while, uh, CNS, is starting to go up again. I bought some more today. Um, that's one I, t I talked about like a year ago, maybe, yeah, a year ago, and it pumped. Um, I wasn't trying to pump it, but I talked about it. I said, I like it, I'm, I'm in it, and it pumped. But um, it's starting to pump again, and you know, if you have been following my calls on that one, I, it's, I'm strictly just trading it, trading it. That thing is like super low cap and it has a, a growing community of crazy apes. <laughs> CNS, it's called Centric Swap. Uh, I put a thousand bucks in it and then uh, like um, a month ago, I, I, I checked and it rose up, it was, was $12,000. And so it's going up again though. So I think I bought more today. So anyways, that's just in case any of you guys are, uh, have been playing that one. I'm just letting you know, I think it's gonna go up again. It's starting to, already starting to. Um, be careful though, like, I, I'll, like always, just be careful what you do. Uh, also, let's see, there's a lot, there's a lot out there. Um, on Avalanche, Smarter Coin, okay. And then now Binance Coin, uh, Binance Smart Chain, you know, I should have been on it like a year ago, but I wasn't because uh, I didn't like Binance. And uh, obviously I do now. <laughs> um, by the way, Catherine Coley sent this to me, the, the ex-CEO of uh, Binance US. She, she sent it to me, me directly without, I, without even, I didn't even ask her, but my friend told her to, so that was cool. <laughs> or he asked her to. Um, and okay, so Binance Smart Chain, I have actually quite a few on that one. Uh, there was one today I saw trending. It was up 250%. It's called Quack. Um, I threw a little bit in there. I threw like 200 bucks in it. And, um, and it rose, it's at $350 already. And I just did that last night, like less than 12 hours ago. So uh, it's up 300% today. And the reason I put some money in it, even though the the website is absolute shit, they, they missed their grammar's wrong and the misspelling, it tells me that it's probably gonna be a rug. Um, but the reason I threw a little bit of money in it is because it's up like 20,000% in the last month. And and every, it's just going up and up and up. It does, like So the trend is your friend, you know? Um, and I'll take profits, you know, I'll be taking profits. I'll take my initial out pretty soon. And then the rest is free money, guys. It's, that's kind of how it works, you know? So I'll take, 
I, it's it's at 350 right now. I'll take I'll sell like $200 worth, and the rest I'll just forget about. And then if I see it on freaking uh, the news, then I know I'm rich, you know. <laughs> but uh, just like SHIB, you know, like I wish I didn't sell it last year. I had I had like $400 worth when it was really cheap, and I sold it like a dumbass, you know. If you if you go and buy something, there's a reason you buy it. But we go, we a lot of us trade on emotions, and so you know we don't we we get panicky if we see it not performing. You guys, every every project, every coin, they all have their own timeline. You know, as long as Bitcoin's doing decent and not dropping, they're all gonna kind of do their own thing. You know, Bitcoin's been very sideways. That's why a lot of tokens and coins are blowing up right now and not too many are dropping you know the percent the percent gains are make way way higher than the percent drops uh at the moment so you just gotta have patience okay and there's a reason you bought it there was a principle you believed in there was some kind of fundamental there's some kind of community value there was something on the tech side you liked there was something about the team you liked or all of that combined you know um so you got to just have patience and wait for it to play out. Trading on emotions always screws you over. It really does. Cuz that's not real trading. You're not you, like you need to rationally, logically trade. Put emotions out of it. You know. And every time I tell that to myself and I do it, I make much better gains. So honestly, the longer I hold my coins, the better gains I have. With track, track just got listed on Coinbase, um, that's Origin Trail, or Oregon Trail, Origin Trail. Um, it's huge. It's it's a big, it's really cool, cool project. It's logistics. It's kind of like V Chain, but the American version, I, I guess. Um, and uh, for so long, I was just waiting and waiting and waiting. Nothing happened. Uh, and I, I, you know, I thought about selling it a few times, but said no this is a this is a blue chip you know like there's no point in selling this one um because it's not on coinbase and you know it still has a lot ahead of it from what i heard it's it's, it's a really good project like my friends were, who read like did deep dives in it like they really like it now it's you know well i, I had an initial two thousand dollars worth and now it's just just in the last like week it, it, it went to ten thousand dollars so it's been pumping and it's been doing really well. I'm holding it for long term. So, uh, you know, things like that. You just got to have patience. They're not doing anything for a long time. There's a saying. It's called um, the wider the base, the higher in space. Okay. That's what happened with ship. It was just stagnant for so long. <coughs> and then it blasted off into outer space. Right. So a lot of these are gonna do the same thing especially when the euphoric like rush comes from you know just euphoric all season when that happens these these are gonna be going up in straight lines like day after day and then like every three four days it'll drop a little and then it'll just keep going up and up and I mean it'll run up the RSI like crazy and then it resets a little and then it just keeps going until the market is just exhausted from buying and you know <laughs> FOMOing um, so we'll see you know we'll, we'll see what happens but that's uh, that's what I'm excited for I can't wait um, the closest I felt the closest that I've seen that happening it was last September last no it was actually last August last July last June and things were going parabolic it was DeFi summer everything was going nuts DeFi was just basically introduced uh, to the world and the world just started figuring it out. And I'll tell you what, man, woo! I had to, I, <laughs> I quit my job because of it. I mean, that's how confident I was and like how freaking euphoric I was feeling. And that wasn't even the euphoric stage, you know? But I quit my damn job, you know? Um, I kind of regret now doing that because right after I quit my job, like the whole market dumped for like three months and I lost 60% of the value in my portfolio 
And uh, so I still haven't gained it back. Still haven't gained that back. Well, I have. No, I gained it back. But from my all-time high, I'm 50% down in my portfolio. So I still, I'm waiting. It's kind of, uh, you know, I'm still like, I'm just, just waiting, you know. There's my high caps, my big caps are, you know, they're all going to start popping off just like Track did, uh, in my opinion. Amp, Amp just had a great week. It just blew up. But, you know, the whales, I think they want to keep it down for a while let people accumulate and then it's amp will surprise everyone because it's not just amp guys it's not the community even though the amp token community is freaking awesome and huge and amazing and i love you guys uh as well as the xrp community i love you guys too i just i'm not happy with xrp but you know that's what we've been saying for years you know that that pretty much was going to happen like it was going to be one of the last the last ones to run that's just how it goes and that's what's happening but you can see on the XRP chart, it's getting ready for something big, big. And I, it could come anytime, and I believe it'll be here before the end of the year for sure. So um, I think maybe it's just waiting for Bitcoin to make its move. You know, once Bitcoin makes an all-time high, you guys, all these alts are popping off. And Bitcoin hasn't even made it a new all-time high yet since, you know, I don't know, when, like... May or something, I don't remember what, what, what month, but it, it, once it goes to 70k, the news will start talking about it more. I mean, hell, and then once it goes to 70k, it's off to the races. Bitcoin moves strongly once that happens, once it breaks new all time highs, it tends to, to move sharply and quickly. And I believe it'll hit 100k in no time. And once it goes to that psychological, like barrier right there at 100k if it even goes past it but the news media like social media is gonna go nuts i mean and they're gonna bring so many people and like i've said on uh twitter they're gonna bring your grandma and your dog i mean you, you, you know everyone like the whole world will be going nuts google gaga over crypto because it's making them money you put in five bucks it turns into 15 bucks you know you put you put 20 bucks into a shit coin, uh, they're all gonna be running it. They're all be gonna be running. They're all, cause it's been four years, guys, that we've been able to collect all these coins and accumulate and, all, and the whales have been able to accumulate. It's just all gonna come together for everyone. And it's all gonna run together in my opinion. Uh, you know, and then once they sell off, there's gonna be a ton that just go away forever, rug pool, whatever. So you got to be taking profit the whole time. Little bits. 10% here. 10% there. You see a big pump in one of your tokens? Big big pump. You see like a 40% pump in one day? Take 10% off the table. It's free money. Put that in something else that hasn't pumped yet. You know? Something with good fundamentals. Something maybe in the top 50, top 100. Okay? Because most of the... All the ones in the top 100 nowadays are pretty much... They've got pretty good fundamentals. Um, they're either listed on Binance or uh, Coinbase, whatever. By the way, AMP has not been listed on Binance yet. So, I mean, once that happens, there's gonna be so much more trading activity on that one. It's gonna be, it's gonna be excellent. Um, so there's a lot of catalysts coming up for AMP still. And that's why I like what the team is doing. They're doing it very slowly, strategically, announcing partnerships and all that kind of stuff. Trust me, they've got partnerships under their belt that would, if if the public knew about, the price would jump like 200%, <laughs> like in a day. So they're, they're strategically uh, releasing these, okay? Um, so uh, what else was I gonna talk about? Um, yeah, so the layer, as for our layer ones, okay, those are gonna be hot, those are hot. Um, Avalanche is probably the next one, okay? Avalanche and Chainlink, guys, I'm stacking those right now. As for like top 20 coins, Avalanche, Chainlink, I don't have any, this is another one that's kind of centralized and stuff, but I can see something happening soon since it's been pretty stagnant. IOTA, I don't have any at all. I've never owned any, I don't like it, but it is part of this, the, it is part of the financial cartel, the system. Now there's other things you should do, guys. Okay, one of them being 
go to Digital Currency Group's uh, portfolio on their website. Look at all the to- Oh, fuck! Okay, I'm sorry guys. This guy almost ran right into me. <laughs> and I, he caught me on the <laughs> on camera. Oh, imagine if I crashed. Oh, yeah. Okay, stupid old guy. Bald, gray hair, glasses. Shouldn't be driving. Anyways, um, sorry old guys with gray hair and <laughs> bald and, um, and uh, glasses. I didn't mean anything by that anyways guys um you should be looking at coinbase ventures page grayscale has a few new additions to their trusts okay curve near rsr and um oh, what's the other one there was another big one uh, i forgot i'll tell you later if i remember but um rsr i i've stacked rsr i've been stacking it it's still not listed on coinbase I, I, believe, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. No, because once it once it gets listed on Coinbase, it's going to blow up. Um, so RSR is a big one, guys. It's it's on Coinbase Ventures. I think Digital Currency Group is invested in it. Um, and so anything you guys see that's on, like, Digital Currency Group's portfolio, Grayscale, uh, Coinbase Ventures... If it's not on Coinbase yet, I'm telling you, you, you want to be, you want to have a little bit. Why not? You you know it's going to pump. You know it's going to pump. The Coinbase effect is very real. We saw it with Track. We saw it with Track. Like, it got listed like a week ago and then it went up like 300%. You know? I mean, why not? You know, have a little portion of your portfolio in like a trading stack that you don't really look at too often. To be honest but once you realize that one of them pumped hard sell that get out of it or keep some of it you know anything on coinbase will make it anything on coinbase is planned to be part of the future financial system okay um so that's why i think when xrp gets relisted on coinbase i'm pretty sure it will um, but once it does you know it's gonna be it's gonna blow up like i mean if XRP is probably going to surprise all the shit talkers, you know, all the naysayers. It's probably going to surprise them, like, and make them feel stupid, you know? Although I do believe there's probably a lot of influencers out there uh, in Wales who they have it, they're stacking it, but they, they're not talking about it because it's very unpopular to talk about in most circles. It's kind of funny. It's almost like it's censored, you know. Oh, that's a shit coin. I'm like, okay, well, yeah, whatever. You know, like, if you like money, maybe you should not care about what other people say. You know, and just <laughs> go for it. Take a risk, you know. Take a risk, you know. Because sometimes they really, really reward you. Um, I, I took risks. I took risks. I took a big risk. When I got into crypto and I started putting all my money in it, every two weeks, my paycheck would go into crypto. Rent, food, and crypto. And the food I was eating was like eggs, tortillas, cheese, <laughs> soy rizo, which is like a soy chorizo. I would eat cheap pizza. I mean, just very cheap food. Okay, for like two straight years, maybe even more, I was like two and a half, I put every damn paycheck into cryptocurrency, XRP, uh, Chainlink, uh, VeChain, Cardano. That one made me a ton of money. Uh, I was, <laughs> I was so happy that one pumped. Now it's really Cardano is very stagnant. That's another one. That's another layer one. That that's a really great long term, in my opinion. Long term hold. Um, short term, I don't know. You know, they they do have a lot coming, so it's probably not a bad time to be in or to accumulate because I don't know how much lower it can go. Um, Cardano is a special one, okay? VeChain as well, that one's special too because it hasn't done much at all, you know? But once it gets going, it gets going. Now, I do believe the logistics plays are, are starting to be looked at a little um, with track, you know? 
So hopefully the chain gets some attention soon. I've uh, been stacking that, you know, and so there's been a lot. Stellar hasn't done anything. It's kind of, it, it runs with XRP. I mean, I wish it would break free. I wish they would kind of separate and do their own things, but they don't. I don't know if that'll ever happen. Um, shit, you know, who knows? But if, if XRP doesn't, you know, if, if the uh, lawsuit doesn't go well, or who, who knows what could happen. If it doesn't work out for XRP, Stellar might be like, you know, Stellar and, I would say Stellar and Amp are the ones. Maybe even Nano, you know, those would take over and take a lot of its market cap. But I, I don't see that, I don't see that happening. Um, I don't know, we'll see. No one really knows, no one knows, guys. But yeah, you do wanna do these like little things. You wanna, you wanna get airdrops. You wanna qualify for airdrops, uh, you know. There's a lot of them out there that are pending that are probably going to be coming anytime or just randomly. You know, qualify for airdrops. Go check out the coins that are uh, not listed on Coinbase that basically, like, you know they're going to get listed, like the Coinbase Ventures coins. Why would they not list those on uh, Coinbase? Well, they're keeping them low. They're letting the team do its thing, getting regulatory compliant. They're also... Uh, uh, letting partners and, and themselves accumulate before they know it. You got, I mean, you know these Coinbase people, they know ahead of time. Okay, by the way, another one that's gonna get listed is Phantom, okay? Uh, Phantom's gonna get listed. So uh, that could come any day, any day, really. Any week, any day. I think it's gonna be within the next month. Um, and then it'll probably explode again and then big dump because it's already been exploding uh, and I think that's an anticipation of a Coinbase listing um, yeah and, and as for Phantom I have um, I am invested in Spirit it's called Spirit Swap and it's really cool it's a nice little exchange I like it it's interesting and it's only 500 on coin market cap like number 500 so it's low low market cap uh, but it has potential. The whole Phantom ecosystem has potential. Um, so I'm in spirit. That's what it's called, spirit. So uh, I would, and also too, you know, just stacking these layer, these layer ones, I probably wouldn't be a bad idea, because this next bear market, if we have one. I really don't think it's going to be that severe or as it's not going to be as severe as 2018 2018 was harsh it was very harsh even like like early 2019 very harsh on us a lot of bear a lot of bulls i mean not a lot of whales selling because they knew what was happening same thing as the last cycle they were selling they were figuring out that okay it's over uh, that that was the that was the bull market now, who knows when the next one's coming, maybe like four years, you know, but we're gonna sell right now. And uh, whatever they bought, they bought their Lambos, you know, so. Uh, speaking of Lambos, I am, I can't wait to buy my Tesla, but you know, as for, for now, I'm just renting a, uh, a Kia Soul because I, I'm doing Uber, so they have a partnership with uh, Uber and um, I get a big discount. And so, I, you know, I made I made the I made the uh, the rental I made the I made it was like 350 bucks like I made that in one night last week so that was easy it's easy to pay this off I'm Ubering almost every night so um, but for now I'm just in this rental can't wait to get my Tesla what I really want is uh, to be a little more modest I guess <laughs> than the Cybertruck or the uh, the, the Model T or whatever, what is it? The Roadster, the new Roadster. I think I, I just want the Model S Plaid. But you know, it's like, that's like $100,000 or something like that. But if I, I might be able to afford it, you know, at the end of this bull market, hopefully I am. I really hope. Otherwise I'll just get a Model 3, which is like $40,000. So anyway, I just want a Tesla. I can't, I've been wanting a Tesla for years and years. So. So anyways, guys, uh, that's about it. It's been about an hour. Uh, 
uh, I don't think you could stand to listen to me ramble on for any any longer. But um, if you did enjoy my thoughts on uh, the crypto market, please hit the thumbs up. And also, if you have any questions, like I'll, I'm pretty communicative. Um, like just comment, comment down below what projects you're in. I want to know too. Let me know what low cap mark, low cap projects you're in because. I love hearing from you guys which low cap projects you're in because uh, a few of them I bought and I made a ton of money on those. So, you know, let me know what you're in. Uh, and also uh, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. I, you know, subscribe. You know, I put up pretty good content. So, and it's going to get better. It's going to get better. So, you guys, uh, you guys have a wonderful day. Um, Hoddle strong and love you guys. And Crypto Mike out. Peace.